Cape Advisors came to us, uh, also a, a victim of the recession. So uh, Buyer Blender Bell, uh, Jack Bell, who was a great guy, uh, New York City historic firm, uh, been around for a long time. Uh, they were working with Cape up until 2006. They couldn't get the project financed. It sort of hit a roadblock. It was pegged at about 65 to $70 million in 2006. So it basically went on hold for about four or five years. And uh, Cape Advisors had gone to Racinelli Construction uh, to Nick and said, well, who would you recommend? We need to value engineer this project. We, we need to get it financed. So Nick had known I had done a number of landmark historic projects and, and our sort of passion for doing the right thing. So we met with Cape. We interviewed with them amongst another firms. They selected us, and then we, we started the project. The, f the first goal was to bring the budget in line. It's a really, really challenging project. Uh, so we worked on that with Racinelli, sort of almost in a design build sort of capacity. Uh, and then we got it financed by Deutsche Bank. And then we started doing the drawings, you know, after the fact. Uh, what was difficult about that project? It was in Sag Harbor. Uh, it had been a blighted building for 25 years. If anybody doesn't know the building, uh, Bulova manufactured watch cases in the late uh, uh, 19th century to, I think, about 1980. They just ceased operations. And a lot of the town, as like many towns, the lace mill in Patchog, uh, Port Jefferson had shipping. There were industries that really allowed the community to grow. So Sag Harbor grew because of the watch case factory. The building was about 100,000 square feet, built in the 1850s, and had been boarded up for 30 years. It, was, it had some environmental issues underground. And um, so we had to remediate all that. We had to strip the building down, and then we added uh, nine townhome buildings in addition to the 100,000 square foot factory building and an underground parking garage and a pool and a rec center all in a historic village. Uh, the noise, <laughs> the digging, I mean all really yeah. frustrating. Working in they, Sag they Harbor. They loved that in Sag Harbor. Oh my gosh. Sure. <laughs> so so there, was, um, there was a lot of involvement because people wanted it. I mean a blighted building which had so much potential to it. Yeah. Uh, really meant a lot, but going through three years of sort of pain and suffering, it's hard to convince people that things will get better. Uh, but it's been a huge success.